the truth about lucid dreaming. I feel like this is something that needs to be said. And so I've been lucid dreaming for eight years or more now. I've been teaching how to lucid dream for a long time. And it's very common to hear online, people will say that lucid dreaming is amazing, it's incredible, people wanna learn it as soon as you hear about it. By the way, if you don't know what it is, it's being able to control your dreams. So if you wanna learn how to lucid dream tonight, then check out my other video about that. So the truth about lucid dreaming, however, it's not all good. There are some bad things to this. So if you're watching videos about how to do it and you know, you're trying to, you're getting excited, you're going to start learning it. Um, you need to be aware of something before you begin this, before you start this journey of actually learning how to lucid dream. There's one thing which needs to be said, and that is that you've got to remember you're dreaming usually about things where they're either your memories or they're part of your mind. So if you dream about stuff that you actually do in real life, things like if you have conversations with people that you actually speak to in real life, uh, there's a very high chance that you won't be able, at some point, you won't be able to tell the difference between what you've dreamt and what is actually reality, what you've actually done, your memories. And this can be super annoying you can get into arguments, you can get confused, you can get, you know, anxious and sad and whatever because of this. Because if you don't know whether you've had a conversation with somebody in a dream or in reality, I mean, that can get you into all sorts of trouble if you really play it out. And, you know, if you think about the worst case scenario, you could be saying, or you could think you've said things to people that you've actually never said um, but not just that, you know, you can get into trouble when you, when you can't tell the difference between your dream memories and your waking memories. This is not a problem if you're a beginner. This is not a problem for the first, let's say, six months of this experience because you will be trying so hard to have a lucid dream that <laughs> it's quite infrequent, it's quite uh, rare that you will have a lucid dream in that first six months. Maybe you'll have, in that time, you might have five lucid dreams Three of them will be, you know, 20 seconds or less. Maybe one of them will be like a minute and then one lucid dream, on average, will be like a long, vivid lucid dream, which feels like uh, several hours. It feels like a long experience. However, if you've been doing it for years, you will get better at it, of course, so you'll have more lucid dreams and then you'll get to the point eventually where you have them quite often. And then when you have them quite often, you start to blur the lines between what you're doing in a dream and, and what's just reality. You know, with conversations and places you go and what you do and everything. And this starts uh, slowly at first. At first you will be, in a lucid dream, you'll only be doing exciting things like flying. So it's quite easy to remember. If I was flying, it's probably a dream. If I was, you know, fighting a dragon, it's probably one of my dream memories. However, when you start getting better at lucid dreaming, uh, like I have done, you get to the point eventually where you can fairly easily have a lucid dream on any given, I mean, not any, not every night, but on most nights, if you really try and set the intention strong enough, you will have a lucid dream. And so you get to the point where it's not a commodity anymore. It's becoming, it's easy to induce. When you get to that point, you, instead of flying around in every dream, you will start to do things that are less exciting, but more like real life. You might start having random conversations with people you don't see every uh, very often in a lucid dream. But then what happens when you do see those pe people in real life? You start blurring the memory. You can't remember. Did I run into you, you know, last week or was that a dream? I can't remember. And you start blurring the light unless you write the stuff down. And this is something that people don't realise when they start lucid dreaming. This is like what I would consider one of the biggest dangers of lucid dreaming. And it's not that you'll cause yourself any pain or get into any trouble. The, the real danger is that you will lose track of what memories are real and what memories are dream memories. Now you can use this to your advantage. Like I've said in other videos, you can practice skills and lucid dreams and then the memories from those uh, dreams will actually improve, you will improve at that skill. But it works the other way too. Whatever you dream about, your brain really thinks you did it. So, so this is where the morality comes into it. This is where you need to start thinking carefully about what you actually do in a lucid dream in terms of morals and what effect it's going to have on your emotional well-being. So there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think about. So it's not as simple as just, you know, 
plugging in a new video game to your console. There's you're dealing with your emotional well-being, your memories, your grip on what things you've actually done on reality, essentially on what things you've done and what things you have not done. Uh, and that's the truth about lucid dreaming. I don't think a lot of people consider that when they watch these hypey videos like how to lucid dream instantly. Uh, so bear that in mind before you begin learning how to lucid dream. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.